Ross, former competitor out here and watching these guys compete at a high level with a strong west swell that we anticipated a, a while back now with all the technology from Surfline letting us know that today and tomorrow will be the best days and we're scoring in the overlapping format. Jeremy versus Kaoli Vost. More on the way out of the sky. Kaoli Vost goes straight down. More attempts here. Flores starts getting that rail nice and happy, but he'll slip out. And that thing being so backless is taking Jeremy straight down. He will run out of time. Jordy Smith gets past a former event champion and his longtime rival of Julian Wilson as this one bottoms out, setting up for Flores. Spit out of a cannon. A former Tahiti champ feeling the mana in Tahiti and he'll put Kaoli Vas under pressure early in this matchup. Magnifique. That was insane. Kuiper Girl along with 1988 world champ Bartlett for the call. Jeremy Flores on the replay. <laughs> and the 2015 champ out here at Tahiti shows why. He's a, one of the masters of this break. Bravado, Barton. That was one of those ones where he looked like he was stuck at the top and he had, wasn't completely underneath it. Veteran in this matchup against Kaoli Voss. Here's Kaoli on the front hand, double hand drag in the barrel and spits. Oh. And Kaoli comes screaming out of that cavern. And if he can get back out the back, it, he realizes, it seems like he realizes the importance of that wave into a priority situation. To continue to put the pressure on his Kaoli. I love how much he must have stalled there. Because ordinarily you would have expected him to come shooting, given the scale and the potential, um, still elusive. Flores continues his hunt for the barrel, finds another cave, finds another exit, and just the momentum shifts into Jeremy Flores' direction. Here's the replay of Jeremy. This was a backup way. He realized he, he knew he had that big score and he just needed... On the backhand, Jeremy Flores continues his assault, looking for a better than a 5.83, which he does have in his scoreline, but the big, big number for Jeremy Flores is a 9.93. Well, Pinto loses a little bit of his footing there and gets gobbled up. Look at these sea monsters. Holy boss! And he takes a lot of Pacific Ocean on top of his head, as well as Griffin Colapinto on the inside. Oh, here we go. Kaoli Voss on a thick one, finds his way in the barrel, negotiates that drop, and now has to pin drop, tries to penetrate, and looks like he did a job of not going over the falls there, showing some local knowledge. In something up around the eights and just lower that ask that little bit. He's, he's back in with a chance. Here we go, replay. Late drop, comes underneath it. Beautiful wave. This was super impressive. That was so thick in there. So late. So deep. Oh. This angle, see, he throws it. Completely barrel. He loved it. Let's have a look now from the pin drop. He comes out the back of the wave. There he goes down and under. The idea is to penetrate deep enough away from that curv curvature of wave as it peels over and come out the back in the clean water. Master in that matchup, and it's going to be the master, Jeremy Flores, moving on into the quarterfinals. There's the digits on the number and the scores earned. Look at that big 9.93 for Jeremy Flores BL.